from Anshe Svar Beth El Emeth Congregation. It's time to take 10 minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. Welcome to our discussion of Parshat Mishpatim, the mitzvah to lend money. If you look in the Torah, in Parshat Re'eh, in Devarim, it says that you might think that the years of the sabbatical years are coming and the loans will be canceled. He says, no, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't. Pen, 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 uh, unless you do that, it's a terrible thing. You should not do that. And lo tikpoti yadcha, don't hold your hand tight. You must give to the, open your hand and give uh, to the poor. So, um, so it, it says that you should lend to the poor. And in our part, it says, if you lend money, you shouldn't be like a, an ogre, you should, you know, don't, don't press the, for the money too much. Uh, but it says, if, Rashi says, quoting the, the, uh, the Mechilta, the Medrash, Rabbi Shmuel says that usually if means if, but here you have to do it. There's several places where it means you have to, you have to lend money to the poor. It's a mitzvah to lend money to the poor. And uh, it's only the Barbanel who thinks that, no, it's, all, it's only, you don't have to, you can if you want to. But uh, the Barbanel is not really a great rabbinic authority. Uh, he's a good commentary, but not so much a rabbinic scholar and a halachic scholar. So, as Rabbi Shuai says, we don't follow that. So it was clearly a mitzvah to lend money. Now, Rabbi Yonah says that there's also a negative commandment that is mentioned regarding the sabbatical year, but it applies to any loan, two negative commandments, as well as a positive commandment to not refrain from lending money. The Rambam, however, does not say that. The Rambam says only that there's one mitzvah to lend money, and then he says in the laws of the sabbatical year, there's a double mitzvah not to prevent yourself from, stop yourself from, from lending money when the sabbatical year, the cancellation of debt, is coming at the end of the seventh year. Rabbi Rucham Fischl Perlow, a great genius who wrote on the Rav Sadiagon's Sefer HaMitzvot, say, uh, says a strange thing, and Rav Weiss strongly disagrees. He said that the real mitzvah is to lend in such a way that it's a very high level of tzedakah. You see, the whole great thing about lending, as the Rambam says, it's the highest level of tzedakah because instead of the poor people, person feeling like, ah, I had to accept money from the, from the rich guy and I feel bad, instead, he feels like, oh, I'm not taking any charity. He's giving me money now. I'll pay him back later. So he feels better. It's a high level of tzedakah. So, it, but if you're lending money to someone who is not, he's it's not a poor person altogether. He's, uh, he's, um, I'm sorry, if you're lending money, not because you want to help him sort of get on his feet. He, he needs a thousand dollars so he can start a business. That would be one thing. That's where Yerucham Fischl Perlow thinks that's a mitzvah, to give him a loan so he can start a business. But to give him money because he's, he's hungry, that's not a special mitzvah. You're not really putting him on his feet. Uh, you're not getting him started. You're giving him a handout. That's like these, you know, government handout, and then you remain on a, on a handouts for the rest of your life. It, it could be it could be debilitating to receive the, such a, such a loan. But the, but Rav Asher Weiss says that's not correct. It's a mitzvah to give someone a loan, whether it's for, for food, whether it's for investment. Of course, if it's for investment, then you're helping him learn how to fish, and it's a higher level of tzedakah. But if you're just giving him money so he can subsist, it's also something. Even though maybe you might ask, if he needs money to live, maybe you should give him more than just a loan, maybe you should give him a gift. The Rambam is clear that the mitzvah of lending money is only for the poor. After all, why would you get a mitzvah to, to, give him, to lend money to the rich? But the Shulchan Aruch says, no. Even a rich person, when he needs it, it's also a mitzvah. But the Vilna Gon says on the Shulchan Aruch, he says, what are you talking about? The Gemara in, in Sukkah says, on page 49b, that if you uh, that, that if you do a kind act, you can do it for a rich person or a poor person. You can help a rich person if he's carrying too many packages. You can help him uh, if, he's, if he needs uh, to visit the sick. You can go help him, go visit, even if he's rich. But charity is only for the poor. Uh, so we see that, that 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 when it comes to the mitzvah of tzedakah or even the mitzvah of lending money, it doesn't apply to rich people. That's what the Vilna Gaon seems to be saying. But Rabbi Asher Weiss points out that you might say that, that if for some reason you're lending money to the rich person, then he needs it. He might need it to, to 
grow his business, or maybe he's cash-strapped right now. And if you're cash-strapped right now, then you're like a poor person. You know, let's say a rich man comes to town, but he forgot his credit card and he lost his wallet and, and he can't find his phone. So he needs money right now. for he, has, he can't get a hotel. He has no food. If you give him money, that's the money. That's like giving money to the poor because right now he's poor. So that's why the Shulchan Aruch says it's a mitzvah to give money to the rich or the poor if the rich need it at that particular time. What if the rich want to get richer and they want to borrow a million dollars so they can build a bigger shopping center? I don't know. That's a different question. I have to think about that question. The Machna Ephraim also says a strange thing that, that it's a mitzvah to lend when someone asks for it. But the, but the Rav Rashi White says no. Even if he doesn't ask for it, um, if you think he needs it, you should lend it to him. Now, what about the person who's getting the loan? Is it a mitzvah for him to pay back? So he said, yeah, you should be honest. If you said you're going to pay back, you should pay back. It's called hin sedek. When you say hey, when you say yes, I'm going to pay back, you should do it. Um, or some people say that... Uh, that you know, that, um, that, that if you don't, then it, it's stealing. He didn't give you the money. He lent you the money. The Mordechai says, if you don't pay back, it's a type of stealing. And uh, that, that, that fits with what the Mincha Sasha says elsewhere, that anybody who makes someone lose money, it's also a type of stealing. Now, um, so it's very interesting. The, the mitzvah of lending money, it can be one of the highest mitzvahs because after all, it helps a person get on their feet. It doesn't embarrass them. And it helps them maybe have more money so they can make money so they can move on with their lives. But even at an, another level, if it's just to lend money to make people feel like, well, I'm not giving it to you, I'm lending it to you, even that is a great mitzvah as well. The idea of helping people accept charity in a dignified way, this is a very big mitzvah. It's the highest level of charity. And this is the mitzvah of Mkesef Tal Ve'ezami. We should try to do it. Why does the Torah say, Im, if? Why does the Torah say, you should lend money? Because the Torah wants us to give us credit. When we do a mitzvah out of the goodness of our heart, hopefully we get credit as if we're volunteering to do it. But really, it is a mitzvah. It's an obligation to take care of the poor. And sometimes the best thing is to give them a loan to help them get started and help them move along in their lives. Thank you for joining us here at the Anshay Sefer Beth Lameth Congregation for our discussion of lending and Parsha Mishpatim. Join us each week for the discussion of the Parsha and the holidays. And thanks to Jason Lefkowitz, our producer. Thank you. This has been 10 Minutes for Torah with Rabbi Joel Finkelstein. To learn more, visit asb.org.